today we are making a video on nopix linux 23.5 this is the latest version which is released like a few hours ago so here is the boot menu of a nopix linux in order to boot it in a live mode you need to click on live system amd64 and it is only available in a 64 bit and uh, nopix linux don't have the installer so you already know that too i didn't find any installation or the installer file or the installer application so a lot of people even have the doubt whether this uh, linux distro has the installer or not uh, because i don't even find it so i don't think uh, it has installer so even the website uh, didn't uh, say anything so we need to explore that and uh, if you anyone know that uh, you can comment it down below so i'm running it as a virtualization uh, which is uh, vmware with 80 gb of hard disk 4 gb of ram and with the two processors so i forgot to mention that i'll be posting two videos daily so i already posted a content in the youtube if you want to check that out you can check that out and if you want to subscribe you can subscribe again it's going to take like a maximum of uh, one minute uh, to load up the desktop layout or maybe like a 30 to 40 seconds minimum that's the basic timing of uh, every linux distro and i'm not going to uh, trim it or edit it so you should be seeing the uh, duration which will take uh, you should be getting the exact numbers in the youtube that how much time it will take to load up it completely de uh, depends on the uh, system uh, resources uh, what you have if you have a good npc it should be loaded in a few seconds uh, if you have a low npc it should take uh, like a minute or two minutes like that it completely depends on your pc sometimes on the iso file too so if you have like a development iso file or the pre-release iso file it should be taking a lot of time because uh, the iso file or the development version is in the development or uh, should be having like a, some bugs in it so it should take like that much of time so it's okay because it's a development version so it took like almost 20 seconds 20 to 25 seconds and we should be seeing our mouse pointer i guess but we don't see anything and here is our mouse cursor and you should be seeing like a highlighter on it because i set it up in my screen recording software like that and i don't see it anything like that i am just seeing a mouse cursor or a mouse pointer and we should be hearing some of the sounds from the Nopix Linux like a glitchy sound not the proper sound and here is our mouse pointer it's kinda look like a Linux light I don't know why it looks like a Linux light so let's first uh, change the display resolution because it looks pretty odd right now I'm using it on a VMware so it automatically changes the resolution but still didn't change the resolution properly so let's try to change the resolution my monitor is like a 1920 into 1080 as you can see it's properly not fixed i don't know why let's change the 1360 into 768 first and let's go back to the 1920 into 1080 and still you see a uh, uh, black bars beside here as you can see i don't know why i'm set i'm setting the resolution properly but it isn't working it isn't working properly i don't know why let's uh, leave that like that and uh, go through all the linux distro completely so the device name is nopix and it's only available in the live boot uh, we didn't find any installer uh, most of my viewers even asked where is the installer but uh, none of them find it and i didn't find it so here is the complete information i'm using a 80 gb of hard disk and 4 gb of ram and two processors so the gnome version is not available right now it should be available in few seconds after typing some of the commands so these are all the information let's quickly open the system monitor and check the uh, resources consuming right now so it comes with a lot of pre-installed apps so let's open the system monitor and check the resources so these are all the processes running right now 
let's go to the resources let me change the color so you can properly look at the cpu graph and at the beginning it's like almost uh, high peak that's pretty common in every linux distro there will be a high peak in the high peak or the high graph in the beginning of the uh, opening of the system monitor and it should be stable after a few seconds let's run to until a uh, one minute or a uh, 60 seconds and the ram is almost like a 2 gb of ram already so it's clearly up to you to choose this or not uh, because if you have a 2 gb of ram uh, that should be a bad a decision to use this linux distro because 2 gb of ram will be like a 1.8 gb it's almost like a 2.1 uh, gb already so you should be seeing a bit of uh, not of bit of lag you should be seeing a severe lag in in the linux distro so it's not a good option to use it in a 2 gb of ram so i have i have a 4 gb of ram and it's pretty uh, delaying or uh, taking a lot of time to load up anything so i'm going to show that too so cache is like a 2.5 GB and uh, CPU is uh, almost stable which is running around uh, below like a 25% so let's go to the file system this is a file system let's check the version of the system monitor 42.0 so let's open the uh, terminal and uh, find out some of the uh, information of the distro let's check the version of the distro first 33.46.8 for the GNOME 44 I think the GNOME version will be like a 43.5 like that of the desktop environment so let's quickly change the uh, color of the theme so you can properly look it let's change the light version so you should be seeing properly it didn't change so let's go to the unnamed colors choose the GNOME light so let's type in the command which is inxi-sv8 this is the command which will grab complete distro information so as you can see which is, which is a gathering or uh, getting all the information for us so the system host is a nopex linux and kernel is a 6.1 kali 7 and it has like a kali linux uh, tools some of the tools of kali linux and it's a 64-bit architecture compiler gcc version is a 12.2.0 so it's a live boot as you can see and the gnome desktop version is a 45.0 i thought it will be like a 43.5 like that but it's a gnome 44 which is the latest version the gnome desktop environment latest version is like a 44.5 so the tk gtk version is a 3.24.37 and the latest kernel release is like a 6.3 but you have a 6.1 which is still the latest no need to worry about the kernel version and the desktop environment version dm gdm3 version is a 43.0 distro version is a gnome 23 focal so i'm running it as a virtual machine which is a vmware so it says as a vmware and bios phoenix version is a 6.0 and ram consuming right now is 2 gb of a 4 gb of ram so this is my cpu information if you want to check that out you can check it out so let's scroll it go to the graphics so here is the graphics display is a x11 server x Oj version 1.21.1.7 uh, with the x Wayland version 22.1.9 so these are all the display resolutions available or the monitor resolutions available api opengl version is a 4.1 mesa is a 22.3.6 so let's scroll it down pulse audio version is a 16.1 so let's scroll it down again and i'm using a 80 gb of hard disk for my vmware so it says as a 80 gb so the process running right now are 268 uptime is a 6 minutes wake ups is a 21 init system d version is a 252 and gcc version already mentioned shell zsh version is a 5.9 and inxi version is 3.3.26 so let me type in the some of the commands which will give the same information but in a short form for example inxi and another one is inxi dash small b and another one is inxi dash capital g these are all the same uh, information as the above but in a short form so let's type in different command which is a cat etc colon slash issue it's a nopix 23 
and let's type in the NeoFetch if it's available or pre-installed. NeoFetch is pre-installed, so here is the NeoFetch for some of the viewers. Hash top. Here is the RAM, CPU, task 101. So these are all the complete information of the distro. We got complete information of the distribution. So let's check out the uh, website and I'm going to show you how to download the uh, Nopix 23 from their website and the default web browser is the uh, Firefox and you have even have the Tor browser because it has like a Kali tools some of the Kali tools or the Kali Linux tools so here is our web browser let's check out the version of the uh, Firefox and the version is like a 102 the latest version is 113 so the website should be you can type in the search term which uh, is like a Nopix Linux and I'm using a VPN so it's uh, pretty slow for me I don't know why maybe I choose the uh, forest far, uh, server so this is the website which is nopix.com you can type in the website by copying this or say uh, looking at the video so this is the website if you want you can directly click on download or you can read complete information there is nothing here just some of the information here let's go to the download so the download links is uh, available right here which is uh, 23.4 amd and i think you even have the 64 bit and the 32 bit here and the arm version also that's pretty awesome and uh, but you can only uh, boot it in a live boot uh, you don't have the installer so keep that in mind and the desktop environments available is the gnome version and the kde and the xfce as you can see three desktop environment options are available gnome and the kde and xfce will be available in the mid end of the 2023 so it will be available in uh, one month or two months like that so it's uh, mid uh, mid year so it should be available right now like a june july like that so let's click on download we want the 64 bit so i'm choosing the 64 bit if you want 32 bit you can download 32 bit so it took us to the uh, source forge and the file size of the nopix linux is like a 6 gb almost so it's uh, clearly up to you to download the 6 gb of file size for your pc only if you have a good end pc download it if you don't have it so it's always a better option to go with the other linux distros so there is nothing unique uh, about this Linux distro, just a few things like a Kali tools and some of the applications. It comes with a lot of uh, applications, so that's the good option there. So let's go to uh, the installer. I don't think there is an installer, so let's... Uh, you don't find any installer. Let's type in, in the search bar like a install. It says install Nopix now. The password should be like a live, I guess. It's not a live, maybe Nopix, I guess. It's not even the password. I think they gave the installer uh, in this version, I guess. I don't find it anywhere here, but if you search it, you'll find it here, like a install. And you need a password. I don't know what is the password. Let's type in Nopix uh, Linux. It's not working. So let's open the website and search for the uh, password. Usually the password should be like a live, but uh, you don't have anything like that. So let's type in Nopix live installer password it says admin let's try the admin so let's search the install again so let's type in the admin as the password as you can see like this authenticate and the password is not working again it's for the nopix let's 
let's search the password again it says that a password has not been set let's try to do that again let's uh, open the installer again this is there is no password so let's authenticate you can't authenticate here like that i don't know maybe the password should be like a password i guess sometimes they will keep like that it's not working so let's type in the live it's also not working let's type in one two three four five it's also not working maybe linux nothing so let's type in nopix linux like this the password is not working and the we don't even have the password so that's a problem if anyone knows the uh, password uh, please let me know in the comment down uh, in the comments so we can make another video it says there is no password uh, anywhere so i don't know what is the password for the install installer maybe root i guess so let's uh, lastly just, uh, try the uh, password as the root if it didn't work so we need to lay that like that until we find anything let's uh, lastly check the administrator maybe it should work so i type the uh, password as the administrator exactly same and it is not working i don't know what is the password maybe if someone knows let me know in the comments uh, we will make another video on it so let's check out the uh, pre-installed apps which comes with the nopix 23.5 here are all the uh, pre-installed apps which comes with Inopix. There are plenty of apps uh, which can be used for the, you know, I'm not going to say that word. So let's open some of the tweaks and check out. Appearance, these are some of the customization. You can do that on your own about tweaks. So these are all the pre-installed apps. Let's uh, quickly run through all these things. Passwords, reporting, reversing, SE tools, sniffing. You all know what are all these apps. You already know for what type of use you use these uh, applications. I don't think I should say that word because maybe you should trigger that word sometimes and demonetize some of the things so I'm not going to say that word you already know here is the installer uh, in the beginning of or the in the older version there is there was no uh, installer in the Nopix Linux but you have a installer I think they uh, saw some of the uh, Nopix Linux videos people of uh, youtubers uh, Everyone complained about the there is no installer so they provided I guess But they didn't have the password. Uh, we need to know the password. They didn't even mention that in the uh, website So we need to find the password if we find out the password we need to install it I'm going to show you the installation if you if I find the password if you already know that you can comment it down below so i'll be making another video for that so these are all the pre-installed apps available so let's open the software manager and let's open some of the apps and end the video so there is nothing much than that about software 43.4 let's check the installed version these are all the installed apps instead of opening every app let me show you right here the calculator version is uh, 43 point it's the latest version 44 
uh, because it has a GNOME desktop environment for, for almost uh, every app which comes with the GNOME desktop environment should be version will be 44 so I don't need to open that apps like a uh, files and some of the other apps which comes with uh, GNOME desktop environment let's open the uh, game version which should be like a uh, uh, version is 2.10.34 let's scroll it down and the library office version which should be like a 7.4.5 and maps version will be 44 because it's a 44 and system version already showed you text editor version will be same top browser will be a 0.3.6 tweaks version i already showed you i think we covered everything so let's open this uh, system monitor and end the video Let's see how much of uh, resources are consuming right now after running through all these things. So it's almost like a 2.1 GB. I didn't open uh, like a image editor or the library office like that. So if I opened it, it should be like a 2.4 GB. I didn't open any of the apps. So it's still at 2.1 GB. So if you ask it's for 2 GB of RAM, I'm going to say it's no because uh, it's already like a 2.1 GB and if you use it in a 2 GB of RAM or a low end PC, it should be a, a lot of lag or be delaying uh, to open some of the apps. So it will be a torture for you to use it. So I'm not going to recommend it. Uh, so that's it for the video. I already posted another video. Uh, if you want to check that out, you can check that out after watching this video because I'll be posting two videos daily so i think that's it for the video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out